Sister Wives Mary Brown doesn't deserve criticism from Grief Police after Garrison's death. I will explain everything. Watch this video until end. Hey lovely viewers. Welcome to my update gossip channel. Many Sister Wives viewers have shown their support for Mary Brown after she was criticized for posting a fun video on Instagram with her friends. Sister Wives fans think critics should stop hating Mary Brown for using social media after Garrison Brown's passing. The Brown family faced an unexpected tragedy after Cody and Janelle Brown's son, Garrison, committed suicide. At the time, Mary shared her condolences on Instagram and posted a picture of her nephew. Over 150k people liked Mary's post and grieved with her. However, the mood changed after Mary posted about how she had fun with friends on Friday, leading critics to despise her for moving on too soon. She was called out for laughing and joking two weeks after the tragic incident. Sister Wives fans discussed the issue in a Reddit thread, potential underscore focus underscore 4194, and called Mary's haters, grief police. One Redditor wrote, Mary posted a video that is swarmed with comments of people so foo asterisk asterisk ing horrible to her. The Reddit user pointed out that people must let the family heal instead of judging their every move. The Redditor added, I don't think she doesn't miss Garrison any less by posting that video. Hundreds of Redditors agreed with the op. They discussed how everyone has the right to grieve their way, and Mary's post doesn't mean she didn't care about Garrison. The Brown family members have grieved Garrison's passing in different ways. Cody has been silent since announcing the tragic news on his social media. It's unknown how he feels, but his silent reaction suggests he's speechless after losing his son. Janelle has been occasionally active on social media. She has shared family photos and endorsed nonprofit organizations supported by her son. Christine also remembered Garrison by posting throwback pictures of him. She recently defended herself from critics by saying she'd have to post promotional posts because it's part of her job. She thanked her supporters for understanding her. Fans are right to defend Mary because she has made no error or misjudgment. A family member's death is hard to overcome. Therefore, people should be free to do what they want and grieve how they want. Mary didn't make a post indirectly insulting. Garrison. Instead, she simply posted a video of herself talking to Sister Wives viewers. She seems isolated and deserves to speak to her followers for the sake of socializing. Loneliness can be extremely hard to deal with after such a tragedy. Mary didn't do anything wrong by posting a video. People only see Mary, Cody, Janelle, Christine, and Robin on social media for a few minutes. There's much more to their lives than what they post online. Mary is struggling with relationship issues after her breakup with Cody. She also misses her mother a lot. Similarly, Janelle and Christine must have been heartbroken by the loss of Garrison. Just because they share a few social media posts doesn't mean it's all they think about the entire day. Even regular people go back to their normal lives a few weeks after losing loved ones. The Sister Wives cast is doing the same. McKelty Brown Padron's claws are coming out as she is asserting her claim over her husband, Tony. Padron. The two have been married since 2016 and have three children together. Yet, what made her feel the need to tell the world what was up? When McKelty Brown knew that Tony Padron was the one, nothing was going to stop her from being with him. Of course, her father, Cody Brown was hesitant as they were both young and had not been together that long. Plus, her sister, Maddie Brown was preparing to wed Caleb Brush so they were in the middle of all of that excitement. Tony did let both Cody and Christine Brown know he was serious and cared for McKelty so he did get their blessing. Unfortunately, the couple had to wait a few months longer than they had hoped to tie the knot but it happened in a fiesta-style wedding. Though viewers and some family members had reservations about Tony, he proved to be McKelty's better half. He started out as a banker but left to work from home which was somewhat of an elusive gig. No one really knew if he could provide for McKelty. Fortunately, Tony has not only been able to take on Cody but be exactly what his wife needed. They have welcomed a daughter, Avalon, and twin sons. Then, they embarked on a fitness journey but somewhere along the lines, rumors were started about their marriage. According to McKelty Brown Padron's Instagram, 
She wants to make it very clear that she is still extremely married. She shared a photo of Tony Padron chowing down on a salad and wrote over it, I am still married. People, stop assuming just because he's not in every single post that he's not mine. She has been sharing a lot of snaps of her three beautiful children as the Brown family has been in mourning. Furthermore, McKelty has been showcasing her drastic weight loss. Is there cause for concern? Tony's last appearance. The last time that Tony Padron and McKelty Brown Padron posed together in a photo was in the middle of February. They had gone on a Valentine's Day double date with her mother, Christine Brown, and her new husband, David Woolley. Since then, Tony has not been the focal point of McKelty's social media but she wanted it to be known that he is still hers, no questions asked. Will this be enough to debunk the rumors? Time will tell if the gossip mill will stop running. When revisiting some of the past episodes of Sister Wives, fans are filled with burning questions about some of the events that transpired. Specifically, one incident came up that perplexes fans. Notably, when Mary Brown wanted to buy her family's bed and breakfast, Christine's mom was involved and then mysteriously wasn't all of a sudden. Mary Brown asks family to help. During Sister Wives Season 12, Mary Brown took Christine Brown's mom to tour what is now Lizzie's Heritage Inn. At that point, Grandma Annie was planning to help manage the property that Mary's grandmother grew up in. However, after their visit, Mary pitches the idea of purchasing the property with the Brown family to support but gets pushback about the business being too much a risk. Mary discusses it with Cody, Robin, Janelle, and Christine. Sadly, they turn her down and she digs her heels in to find a way without them. This is my baby, Mary admits in a confessional. They don't care about the house or the bed and breakfast business. Once I get this house done, I don't want to have any more business meetings about my house. I want to run my business my way. Mary, Brown and Christine's mom's plans change. On Reddit, a Sister Wives fan opens a thread saying, Christine's mom and the bed and breakfast. Then adds, I've been re-watching the seasons. Many new questions in re-watching. Then the one question I have burning is when Mary wanted to first buy the family home back into the family. She took Christine's mom with her to look at with her at one point. Mary was talking about having Christine's mom run it for her. Then the next episode it seems. Like, Mary's mom is mentioned to run or just live there. Anyone have a clue what happened to Christine's mom to run the place? I'm sure there is a reason but I'm just so curious. Most of the Sister Wives fans believe that Christine Brown's mom was excluded when Cody, Robin, Janelle, and Christine decided not to help with the funding of the purchase. Additionally, Mary Brown's mom, Bonnie, changed her mind and wanted to live in the home as well. Probably had something to do with Cody, Christine, Janelle, and Robin declaring a functioning BNB an unwise business decision leaving Mary to scramble to find alternative ways to get a short-term loan, as in Bonnie and her brother, I think but not totally sure, helping with the down payment. Why would Mary want Christine's mom involved after debacle? That would have given the clan, who had already shunned and ostracized her every way they could, an excuse to get their hands on the profits. Mary is dumb when it comes to family but she's not stupid when it comes to business. Another fan talks about an interview where Mary Brown talks about how her mom sold her home to assist with the purchase of the B&B. &B. After Mary was denied money from her husband and sister wives, she hunkers down to make money off her MLM business. However, perhaps just coincidental, Bonnie sold her home at the same time. Seemingly, the timing points to Mary's mom helping support her dream. I watched an interview. Mary did and she said that her mother Bonnie sold her own home which is how Mary got the down payment for the B&B. &B. This left Bonnie with no home which is why Mary wanted Bonnie to live at the B&B &B and not run it but Cody was against it. Cody said they would lose money having Bonnie take up a room that would otherwise produce income. I believe this is why Annie was no longer an option for running the B&B &B though Mary did not address that part only the fact her mom sold her house. For the down payment. What do you think about this video? Please told on comment box also subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching this video.